Hi, Greg Brunts here with another useful tip for you. So what I want to talk about today is uh, wiring up a single stage heat pump. I'm primarily talking about our uh, 14 sear heat pump with the hot gas bypass defrost board. Now that would be the one with the microchannel condenser and single stage. So with that, let's get into wiring it unit up. Um, some of this is pretty much self-explanatory, some of it a little more harder to figure out. But anyway, so first things first, we need to get R and C all the way out to that outdoor unit because that outdoor uh, defrost board has to have 24 volt power at all times to be able to function properly. So, so you're going to connect R to R to R, C to C to C. So pretty simple to hook up, not a big deal. Uh, but you, then you have this O terminal. So on some thermostats it might be O slash B. No big deal. You just need to go into the installer's program and make sure you set that up to energize the reversing valve in the cooling mode because all of Nortec Global HVAC's heat pumps are energized in the cooling mode. So that means every time you flip the system switch to cool, that reversing valve should be energized, O should be hot. So moving on, uh, Y. What does Y do? Y is going to turn on that heat pump on during heat pump heating mode or in cooling mode. So moving on to some of the other connections, well, G is pretty self-explanatory. That's going to, for your fan on mode on your thermostat to be able to turn the blower on. Not a big deal there. So now we're down to the E terminal and W2. So some thermostats will call W2 auxiliary, which is your second stage of your thermostat. And some of them will call it W2. Either way, it's the same thing. And then your E terminal, and that's typically only found on true heat pump uh, thermostats. And I always recommend using a true heat pump thermostat. And what I mean by that is you should have a heat function and an emergency heat function on the thermostat. So, all right, so how do we hook that up and what does it mean? So W2, again, as I said, is your auxiliary. If you're, if you're not using this optional outdoor thermostat, you don't even need to run that wire outside. You can simply jump from W2 down to your E terminal and you're good to go because you're going to be energizing the W of the indoor unit coming off of the E terminal anyway. So what that does is if the heat pump's running in heating mode and the heat pump's not keep, keeping up and second stage um, kicks in, it's going to energize W2 on the thermostat, second stage, and bring on the electric heat to help it out. Okay, now what if we are going to use that optional thermostat outside and what does that optional thermostat do? Some code requirements require that electric heat be held off below certain temperatures outside. So that thermostat outside that kind of looks like a limit switch closes on temperature fall. So as long as it's cold enough and we run that wire from W2 on the thermostat outside to that outdoor thermostat to one spade terminal on that little limit switch the other spade terminal coming off there going to W2N on that defrost board, what's going to happen then is if that thermostat outside is closed and the heat pump goes into auxiliary heat or if you turn the thermostat all the way up, either way, it's going to energize that W2 terminal. If this is closed, you're going to power W2N. It'll come out of W2 out, go back inside and turn on the electric heat. That W2 out outside is also used so that whenever the unit goes into defrost, it will energize the W on the air handler. And there's certain fault conditions on the heat pump. Now let's say the heat pump is supposed to be running, but the board's got it locked out because of a pressure switch or something like that. There are certain ones of those codes that would actually bypass that Y signal from on the outdoor unit into that W2 out and cause the electric heat to come on because the heat pump's not running. So anyway, I hope you found this tech tip useful. Keep tuning in to edgetechhvac.com for more useful tips.